Evening. Members of the Zoning Board, I'm Joe Rodriguez and I live at 11 Freezer Road in Barnstable Village. I, along with the residents that I have spoken with, both on Millway and Freezer Road, support Mr. Bornstein's plans to clean up that harbor and build a beautiful house. There has always been a residence at that location with no commercial use in over 30 years. Freezer Road is really a lane. It's very narrow. People use it for their daily walks. It is not a two-way road. A residence there would complement the quiet neighborhood on Freezer Road. Lastly, there is already too much congestion and traffic on the Millway side of the harbor and the beach area. Thank you. Mr. Kennedy, Ann Kennedy, Precinct 1. Um, first of all, uh, I need, need it needs to be said because it was said by um, a commenter. There's nothing personal about anything that's uh, any opposition for this project. It never has been. And it's not about taxes. And, it's, and really, the discussion about Chapter 91 issues and dredging and piers and all that, that's not even relevant either because that's not before you. That has to be permitted. That hasn't gone through the process at all. Um, I'm, I would be very curious to, to know who that staff member was that suggested that Mr. Bornstein do things this way because um, at every stop, Old Kings Highway, you couldn't discuss zoning. Conservation, you couldn't discuss zoning, and, and basically that's the underlying issue, and, I, and it has been all along. So I'm very curious as to the identity of that supposed staff member that gave Mr. Bornstein, a seasoned developer, that piece of advice. Um, I'm in complete agreement with uh, Tom Perry's opinion uh, made in May 2009 that the house was a pre-existing non-conforming use situated in a marine business zone and that it had lost that use pursuant to both state law and town ordinance some time ago. It's been at least three years and I would uh, I contend that it's been longer than three years. You Somebody suggested intent. There have been several applications by this developer that it would indicate to me that he has thought about abandoning the intent to use this for a residential purpose because he's made other applications, uh, never followed through on them, uh, but they would have been um, consistent with the underlying zoning. Uh, one was a marine marina, one was uh, wind turbines, one was an office building, so it, but he never followed through on that. But that would suggest to me that he had considered abandoning residential use. Um, the, uh, the, of course, the leases that were submitted tonight I haven't seen, um, but I do, from the conversation, I understand that at least two years worth, 2005 and 2006, I think, were represented as seasonal leases. So that would still suggest an abandonment of the year-round use at that point. So that's 2005, year-round um, residence uh, use was abandoned. I also have um, police reports, several police reports beginning in 2004 that suggest that the house was boarded up, that there were vagrants in it, um, trespassers. Um, I have them here if you want to see them. Um, January 2004, dog barking and howling from inside boarded up house. Um, January 6, 2004, secured door as best possible, interior door uh, not secure. January 2004, building check. January 14, 2004, owner owner called to say that he went to the house and there should be no one there and the door is open and looks like it's broken into. June 2004, male subject located in the house by property owners who observed that the plywood had been removed from the door. Property at 153 Freezer is unoccupied, unoccupied, boarded up and no trespassing signs are posted on the building. June 2004, 
This is another break-in entry, broken door seal. March 2006. So I think it was represented there were people there up to March, to September 2006? March 2006. A call regarding vandalism. Kids are vandalizing the house at the end of the road. They are, I also, I don't have them with me, but I do have, um, and I think they might be in your packet because Tom Perry had them, um, a number of um, fire department reports that indicated that the, the house was supposed to be boarded up. Um, and I think, and I don't remember the dates, and I'm going to guess. Um, I better not guess. But I know at least 2006 there, there were um, fire reports to that effect. I also want to point out that Mr. Bornstein did have a demolition permit in 2008. He could have demolished the house then. He could have re uh, started the rebuilding process then. There has never been a proposal to build on that site. It's always been farther down on the point. Um, but anyway, I, I would suggest that the abandonment was much sooner than three years ago. I, I, it's almost seven years by my calculation, but at least three years. So I would suggest that the uh, special permit should be denied. Thank you. Thank you. These are the uh, fire department records. Okay, and they you? start with um, March 2006, indicating that the house was abandoned. Okay, could you submit those to, for the record? Is there anyone else with comments? 